Okay guys, welcome back to another Newbie Views. Today is a uh, impromptu uh, video because I forgot my cameras and I needed to get content out to you, but don't worry, it's going to be a good one. Today, we're trying some uh, Mediterranean feasts. Uh, this food should be a staple for everybody, but let's uh, check it out. Well, today, Unfortunately, I don't have my camera, so it's just going to be a phone review, but at least uh, you're going to get some pictures. All right, let's start it off. All right, guys, here we are. We've got food from Osmos Shawarma. I am so sorry for the crappy quality, but that's what you get from a phone. It's crap. The video, I mean. Quality. Not, not, not the content, just the quality. All right, guys, let's go in for the bag can. Let's see what we got. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, as you can imagine. So, first, I told them to give me garlic sauce on the side, since I didn't want to get all mushed. Got napkins. Got our first box. Put that up there. Got our second box, the main course. And we've got a bunch of forks. We've got hot sauce. Now, I've had Osmos before. Their hot sauce is not hot. It's devilishly hot. So I told them off the side, I'm going to test that for you. And I'm going to have a burning face reaction, I am sure. Beyond that, a bunch of forks. Just finally, forks. I'm saving those because, you know, there are days that you're not going to get forks. And uh, that's not a good thing. So what I got on their menu was where's the receipt oh no they didn't put a receipt in crap all right guys i believe it was 10.99 for this medium they call it medium and uh basically you have a choice of protein which is beef chicken lamb i guess they have euro meat as well i actually didn't see that on the menu but here it is i got chicken shawarma and what they call on sticks, which is uh, french fries. You can have it on rice, uh, or you can have it on sticks, or french fries. And I opted for the french fries, because you never know how bad the rice could be. So it's got chicken shawarma, and that's a lot of it, and some fries, and lots of garlic sauce. I got more garlic sauce for my second item, but here we go. So fries are fries. There's not much to say about them. They're crispy. They've been fried twice, it looks like. They got a good taste to it. That garlic sauce, the Hemi sauce mix is pretty good. I don't have a lot of flavor to the garlic. No, it's not that garlicky. Mm. So think of this as a poutine without cheese. Oh yeah, that chicken is pretty tender. Although it's chopped up in tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces. I would have loved to see big chunks, but. So I was the first one in this morning at about 11, 10. They just opened. The bad thing about that is these fries have been sitting for, I don't know, 10 or 20 minutes. They're pretty lukewarm. It's not that bad. So the medium is uh, about $10, $11, $10.99, I think. The big one they have, I think, was about $15. Mm. So the chicken is uh, prepped. It was already in a container. So it was already pre-shaved. It wasn't fresh off of a spit. Oh, there's a spice. I can, mm, yeah, there we go. There's that little Mediterranean spice kick. All right. Moving on to the second thing. So on the sides, I got um, something healthy. I got some freshly made falafels. Chickpeas fried up with spices and herbs. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. Mm. 
Hmm. Well, there's one thing I'm going to tell you. Let me just dip that in some garlic sauce because it really needs some sauce. Some garlic sauce. Let's just close those up. Chickpeas, falafels. It needs more flavor. I'm going to give those two out of five. Um. Yeah, two out of five. It needs more spice. There was no hint of garlic or any other flavor. It was just chickpea mush. Sorry. Super fresh, super moist. I've had other ones that, been, that have been lying around forever and dried out. This is the opposite. They're super moist, but the flavor is not there. For the amount of chicken you get, it's pretty decent. I haven't tried every place in the whole world, but this is pretty decent. It's funny, the garlic sauce has no garlic flavor. It's pretty light. In fact, it's the opposite. It's a lot of sugar, or it's pretty sweet. So, I don't know if you can check a load of the chicken here. It's just chopped up chicken pieces. Pretty ground up. It'll do in a pinch. Um... Three out of five? I'd get it again, just for volume, it's pretty good. I would have preferred to see big slabs of right off the, right off the spit chicken, but this is kind of like ground up chicken, or I guess it's fine. It's just really small pieces. They don't hold the flavor, and unfortunately they're, it's just chicken, but it's not, it's not flavored very well. Occasionally you can taste the spice, but it's just not prevalent. All right, so that's my review on that. Now, what about this? Do I really want to do this? I do. Put the phone down. Okay. So guys, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this is their hot sauce. This is the Osmos... Whoa, that's spicy. It feels, smells like spice. So here we go. I'm going to take a quick lick. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. That's their medium or mild take. Whoa. <coughs> oh, my God. Wow, that is spicy. It's burning the tongue. It's instantaneous. It's not down the throat. It's literally on my tongue. Oh, I need some more food to wash that down. Woo! Now, this is their specialty. Everybody who uh, likes spicy foods gets their super hot sauce, but the mild is pretty hot. Woo! Oh, my God. That's burning. I will not be having any more of that hot sauce, but this I'll finish. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Like I said, it was Osmos. I hope this fills the page if you can see it. Osmos shawarma. I got the chicken shawarma on fries. You can get it on rice, like a dinner pack. And, uh, yeah. Well packaged, well put together. Big menu items. Lots of options for you. Uh, moderately priced. It's not the most expensive. It's not definitely not the cheapest. But beyond that, solid value. It's uh, just for me, it just needs a little more spice level. It needs to spice up, they need a little more spice to it. But again, you can't be too spicy, or else people go, I don't like this flavor. Not everybody's into the flavor. This is just uh, mainstream. It's pretty good. Beyond that, uh, three, three out of five, and the falafels. If you want falafels because they're vegetarian and vegan, 
it's fine. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. All right, that's it for the review. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment, and we will see you in the next video. And we're out. Peace.